Hello. What up, Brett? What up? Hey, man, I'm like uh, three minutes away from you. You ready to go to Target? Absolutely. I love Target. <laughs> All right, man, I'll be there in like two, three minutes. Okay, sounds great. All right, peace. Uh, I'm going to pick up my boy Brett Riley, funny, funny comedian slash actor slash uh, singer. She's like that little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mad. <laughs> so I have to break out the big gun, you know what I mean? Just look at him and be like, Don't you remember you told me I love me, baby? You said that you'll never put on a shade again. Oh, baby. Baby, 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 ho. Baby. He's one of those guys that we would say could come to the cookouts because he got that soul in him he got a dope podcast out right now called i like some of you on uh dash radio and spotify and uh, i can't wait to see how he does on this show <laughs> i love seeing comedians hit from the stage to now having the improv Brett Riley. How are you? What's up, man? How you doing? Are we? I'm good. My bad. No, no, no. Here, if you could, we good? I mean, we hopefully we good. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. Trying to get this uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Footage. I guess I should have had the temperature check. No, it's okay. Maybe. I kept. I checked myself. I'm good. <laughs> Put on your seatbelt and stuff. Okay, okay. We going to Target? You call it? I like Target. It's just, it's just a different feel than Walmart. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's just a different feel. <laughs> like Target has just a. Uh... It's a. It's a. Uh, it, it's definitely an upgrade. It is. <laughs> it's like that. It, the layout's different. The right. feel's different. It's like. Uh, you know, Target is like one of those clubs that has a special bathroom. Right. <laughs> you don't mind sitting yeah. on the toilet. I'm like. I can sit here. You got about five minutes. Okay. Uh, you have to make me laugh within 15 seconds of each joke. You can only talk about what's around you. If you do not make me laugh, you get a strike. Three strikes. Okay. You got to get out and use your savior to ask, to try to make somebody laugh on the street. Is it okay if I don't want to talk to people on the street? Oh, well, we just leave you pandemic? We just leave you right where you stand. You got to figure out if how to I get back to this crib. I'd rather do that than talk to, <laughs> I'd rather do that than talk to somebody during a pandemic. <laughs> Well, <laughs> like rolling the dice, <laughs> rolling the dice whether or not they're vaccinated. Well, it listen. rolling the dice on their political beliefs. <laughs> listen, right? So the clock starts now. Okay. So you got to talk. So you can only talk about what's around us. Okay, fine. Here, look at this. We're coming up on it. That the trumper right there. <laughs> That's a trumper right there. If you have a Winnebago, uh, there's so many Winnebagos out here. So many Winnebagos. I think part of being able to go to a Trump rally is you have to have a Winnebago. <laughs> That's what I found. So that can that count? <laughs> part of it. They blocked off this uh, when we when we actually bought this house. They blocked off this uh, this bridge, and the Trumpers were all out here rallying and stuff. And, my kids got mad at me because I literally drive by with the windows down. I'm going, you're all stupid. <laughs> you stupid people. No one's listening to you. I can't hear you. Wait, put a mask on. <laughs> that's right, because that came down. It did come down. Okay. You didn't believe in it. Well, here's though. the thing about those people that I like, though, is that they shake when they're angry. Like, if you make a Trumper mad, like an older white person, they go like this. They go, I never... <laughs> I've never been disrespected like this in my life. <laughs> and let alone, you're going to do this outside of my own house. They do, yeah. They shake, which is funny because, like, it's amazing that people have never had to fight for anything. Shake <laughs> as soon as stuff gets heated. Like, that's what... <laughs> I'm... 
<laughs> That's a cheat code, though. See, you were like 15 seconds. I'm like, oh, who's not gonna? No, lie? that was you. You almost made me think you was gonna have uh, a heart attack. Well, that's <laughs> what's so funny about those people because they do. They shake. They go like, ha! I've never been disrespected. Do you know what they put in that vaccine? Do you know what they put in that vaccine, Chante? I'm telling you, you're gonna end up fucking trying to have sex with grasshoppers <laughs> and all that stuff. And that's the fa- here's the thing, and you don't even you don't know if they put Agent Orange in there or if there's sun-kissed fruit juice. Like there's no way to know either way. And that's what we're at Target. We are at Target. I was gonna let you finish the act out. Oh. That was quick. Yeah. That was really you, quick. I, it was a you quick... did the whole act out. Now I need to ask you. You did. You did get to the destination. You yeah. did make it. Uh-huh. Um, and that that was that was short. But I'm gonna say this because uh-huh. I spoke so highly about how you sing. Oh. Could we just get? Yeah. Could we could we kick it off with? Okay. Let me. Here's the thing. The pandemic's been difficult. Like it started out where I was still like a romantic. Right. Like there was still times when I'd still like in my head I'd still wake up and I'd be like Hey Miss Serious We don't have to be so serious And then I and then and that was me before I was like if you're bad because I want you and that that's where I used to be Baby cause it feels good and Hey that's where, and that's where I was hey. before but now we're so deep in the pandemic that my wife will come home and she'll be like, I'm just so sick of you. Why couldn't you just do the dishes? And I'll just look at her, I'll be like, tell me you don't love me. Tell me you don't need me. Tell me I'm the fool. Tell me you've been tortured. Tell me you've been bitter. What I've done to you. Yes. And then she's just like, Yes! She's like, you're a bad person. And I go, I agree. And then we used to make love, but there's no point now. Now it just feels like angry friction. Brett, this is turning into... Sorry, I was supposed to... Listen, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) It's just about to break down into something completely... We was about to start singing Mary J. Blige songs. Yeah, actually... Uh, <laughs> but I thank you so much for doing this. This is Brett Riley, guys. Yeah. Uh, once again, check out his radio station, his podcast. Mm-hmm. I like some of you. Yeah, that's the brand from now on. <laughs> that is, I was a much more positive person pre-pandemic, but post-pandemic, my brand is I like some of you. Right. 